Hello family, welcome under this trading video where I will be explaining what the seven questions that you should ask yourself before placing a trade. You have been asking me such questions like what do I ask myself before placing a trade? Now, I've highlighted seven questions that you need to ask yourself before placing the trade. Trust me, it's going to save you into your next trade that you will be taking because i will view the market deeper into the live charts i will do some live charts on euro usd and the other pair that i see that maybe it might be easy for you to understand and if you have not watched the previous video that i did explain about market structure please go and watch it and leave me a comment a like or a share because if you go into this trading video that i'm going to explain to you without checking out like how to know the market structure then there's nothing you are going to understand here so make sure you start on the previous video that i did explain about market structure and you come inside this and guys i'm using a little bit of energy to record such videos like this so please would you like give me a share or a like or the subscribe subscription i would say even the comment so that sometimes it may be motivating me to to create some videos like this so i would appreciate so much and let's jump into it so the first thing is i have seven questions here as my checklist before placing entry and i will go through every question how do i look at and yeah it might change a little bit how you view the market so let's jump into it the first question that you need to ask yourself before pressing a trade is you need to understand if the market on the key daily level weekly or monthly levels when i say monthly level weekly level what i mean is we we have the uptrend market structure where markets will be doing this which is the impulse the correction the impulse decoration and we also have the other market structure which is the downtrend which you see market moving like this you see now whenever you are taking a trade you need to understand whether your actual trade that you are taking if it's in the exact market direction like this when i say in the market direction i mean into the impasse movement and against the market direction it this correction which we call pullback all right so whenever you're taking a trade you have to ask yourself is the current market movement inside this pullback here whereby you will view this in the hour time frame for example the daily time frame or four hour time frame so if you go in the lower time frame like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour you'll see this as the trend which we call we call them as as counter trend market so we need to ask ourselves whether the market that you are likely to enter or the market the trading setup that you want to enter if it's in the actual market direction or say in the reversal market direction but the most important thing you need to know if if the exact market movement is on the key level so when i say the key level is again along the daily the daily levels and the weekly levels for example this is your usc now if i switch on the daily time frame you will not see we have those turning points so when i say turning points i know and is something like this one here for example this is my turning point on the daily level and as well this is my turning point on the daily level as well as this level here where we have the daily level all the turning points so when i say turning points basically a place where we are always getting the reversing of the trend for example we had the huge down up push and the market turned to the down push and the market created this you see so all these levels here we call them daily key level if we are in the daily time frame if you are in the weekly time frame now it's, we call them the weekly time frame weekly key levels so this key levels save you to know whether the exact maybe trading setup that you'll be entering whether you are going for the swings or you are going for the daily or the day trading or position trading sometimes you have to understand that because it will save you a lot of time and to save you your bank account 
then question number two is the setup against here or in the dilation already explained you need to understand whether the market is maybe calendry in the pullbacks like this one or is seeing the exactly market direction you have to understand that because it will save you to know whether you are in the counter trend market structure or you are in the exact direction of the market and number three question is what is the risk reward ratio of your trade we always have these tools guys in your trading view you have these tools we have this which you call short and we have this what we call longs so before enter get trade there's no there's no like there's no way for you have to find the calculator to start calculating like how many pips you are going to lose how much no all these tools they are always showing you like how many pips you are going to risk and how many pips you are going to win like uh, for example this is on the shorts what i do i just lead like I, i'm risking such amount of pips right here and i'm also targeting such amount of pips right here and this is my risk reward ratio so under my risk reward ratio i just have to make sure each and every trading setup that i take it has to have at least one ratio two and above what do i mean this means that whenever I take a trade, I must risk one to get at least three times or two times of what I'm risking. For example, if I'm risking maybe $20, my take, first take profit has to be two times. So that whenever maybe I take two trades or five trades in a long run or in a, in a, yes, in a long run, I'll be in a profitability position whereby even if I lose two trades out of five trades, if I win only three trades, I still am a profitable trader. Now you get the concept. And we also have number four, whereby you need to understand like, where will your stop loss be? Always your stop loss has to base on the previously levels. For example, if I take trade based on the buys, my stop loss has to be a little bit below the, the kind of formation or above a certain kind of formation if i'm looking to sell you need to have a significant point of interest where you're always looking for i mean to press your targets all right the stop loss and take profit but for me i do based on the support and resistance based on demand and surprise sometimes i do use the fibonacci retracement to know my stop loss and my take profit so the other question is you need to know is there any economic news reports that's such of the question that you need to ask yourself because we always have what we call news reports based on news reports like cpi nfp or fomc so or employment reports now all of these are high impact news how do you know them we always have different platform where you can check the calendar like what's going to happen now such news understanding that they are they are about to happen in the next hours or in the next day serves you more to know when the volatility will kick in the market because that's the only guy that you need all right but the other question is you need to understand your psychology you need to ask yourself is my psychology on set to press a trade because we are always pressing trades different ways some do press trades based on maybe some you need to understand yourself like are you pressing a trade just because you did see the trading setup or just because you are on your emotions or you are on your moods or you are revenging the market or you need to understand yourself so you have to ask yourself such question because it will save you a lot of times to know to understand whether you are revenging the market or you are into the exact mood that you need to take a trade based on your trading plan and the last question that we need to ask ourselves is the trading setup is if it's aligning with your trading plan. As always, guys, trading plan is always saving your bank balance if you use it correctly. Why? Because preparation is better than no preparation. And if you do not prepare yourself before taking a trade, literally you are preparing yourself to fail on that particular trade, even if you win is will be a little bit gambling because it will, not, it will not last in a long run so you need to ask yourself if your trading setup that you are you are taking if is following a certain rules that you did prepare uh before taking it taking it because it will be it will answer you different questions like oh, how many people how, how much money you should risk in that particular trading setup okay so this is what i was uh you have to ask yourself based on 
based on on the question that you need to ask yourself so without wasting of time let me explain to you how i do use such questions on my particular trading so this is euro usd as you can see this is euro usd on 4h time frame now let me let me scroll it like this and what i'm trying to find out is how we can make analysis or how we can do analysis on your usd and for you to understand like how do you press a trade based on the questions checklist all right so this is your usd on daily time frame but i'll start from the weekly time frame so that we can understand what's going on as i said the first thing first on your checklist you need to understand the key levels to understand the market direction that's the only thing that you need so once you are, you did understand the market's movement or based on the key levels and then you are you're free to go like why you should be pressing your trade so this is your usd on wiki time frame as i can see we are trending on the down like this one here and the market almost changed the direction after respecting this level here which is called the support level now you get it so right now we are looking for buying opportunity but at the same time the market right now is on this pullback here this is called pullback just because we had the original market movement toward this level here remember we are escaping this level to tap this level here so whatever happens here it just pull back so that we can tap the next high. so what i do after not seeing some something right there I would love to highlight my point. I would love to highlight this in my level. So the market is moving from this level to this level here. Why? Because we have the we had the downtrend and the market changed the market direction after breaking the previous high and getting high low, high low, high low. So the thing is in the lower time frame, I love to find the point of interest where market seems to be coming in at the on the weekly level we have this level here which seem to be point of winter where we got the break of structure with this strong market imbalance this is called market imbalance guys the market imbalance means the price it was not balanced in the moment we got this huge attempt of buyers so we had a strong volume of buyers in the market so right now market is trying to balance all this move so what market does is Whenever we have that frequent entrance of positions, whether for buyers or for sellers, there are some kind of ways market has to balance those positions. Now, what comes is on the on the daily time frame, something like this is happening right now. As you can see, this is what we we did see on the daily on the weekly time frame, and this is daily time frame. So I love to find the point of interest whereby and see that the market right now is on this what we call counter trend market movement so i love to find i don't want to trade inside this counter trend i would love to find ways to trade in the exact market movement direction i mean so what i do i love to find the point of interest so my first point of interest will be this level here and the other point of interest here there's nothing along this level here so I don't think if market will come along this level here, but it, whenever happens, because I'll be watching our market structure changes as this market movement will be coming in the down movements. Okay. So all I do, I just have to go direct into the lower time frame. but this was our previous lower. And this one here is our previously high here. So I'll be watching how market will be behaving because this uh exact market we call the market imbalance all right so all i do i love to switch into maybe six eight hours let's say on the eight hours so on the eight hours here we go you'll see market in this counter trend market trying to push down so let's see what happened now you can see market kept on creating these swing lows and swing highs swing lows and swing highs until my level of point of interest now whenever market enters nearby this or inside this zone i love to switch into lower time frame to find the market structure i was showing so it's something like almost coming along now let me switch to four hours and find out so the four hours you can see at this point we have uh, previously higher this is my high 
this is my lower care this is a break of structure here so still has a sign that we are continuing to go the downside so let's see what market did and we got that break of structure so meaning that these are our previously lower here and this might be up our next lower so let's see what happened up next and yes so here the thing guys let me delete this so that you can get a picture of what i mean yep 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 so here the thing this is our lower here and these are previously high here but we also have this higher and market almost leave facing this level by breaking this market movement so remember before entering the trade you need to especially if you, are, you want to take a trade based on the exact market direction you need to understand how market changes the structure now let's see what happened up next yes now at the same time we made break of structure but market kept on respecting the previous high here and we created a new lower by breaking this so still has a signs of either continuing on the downside or breaking the previous high here okay now let's see what happened and there we go so at this point you can see market kept on respecting this lower here and we also have this high let's see if market managed to create any lower or any high so created this high here with this strong push which i think is something like is fake yes we get this reversal candle so this might be our equal lower so let me delete all these drawings so that you can you can get a picture of what i mean let me delete everything now you see is here this are all equal lows equal lower and this is our high so whenever market breaks this we have to see it either breaking also this previously high here or closing either above or below whatever happens but what i'll be watching market behaving along here so let's see and at the same time we have got the break of structure here and we are also in nearby i would say nearby or inside our previously point of interest where we did watch it from the daily time frame so now i will try to switch on one hour to find out if there is any change of market such as that can allow me to take bias position remember for those who are trading patterns this is almost like inverse head and shoulder i would say this almost inverse head and shoulder signifying that there might be chances market to continue on the upside after detesting along that level here now let me read everything to keep my chart clean let's see so what do we have now we have this lower and we have this higher on one hour mind you and we are also having this level here where we got a break of structure and at the same time i love to see market a little bit retracing after breaking this higher or closing above let's see and yeah so something happened here you can see almost the market closed a little bit above but it rejected this level indicating that we still have the volume of buyer of, of sellers in the market so what i have to do here is this is my point a this is my point b whatever happens along the 50 and 61 percent of my fibonacci which is also along this market imbalance here that we call at the same time we have this sellers attempt to have to find out whether market we kept on respecting that level or not so let's find out at this point i'm looking for the market to change the direction you see we have this level which seem to be of high impact this seem to be uh my significant point and i would love to to watch it out because it's where we also got the previous break of structure and with those all, all this huge rejection market failed to break this so i love to find how market is changing the the market so that i will show you how i how, I, how, I, how we enter so at this point i love to to look something like this 
before taking a trade avoid taking a trade when there is no momentum you have to see a momentum first kicking in the market and then when you and then is when you take a trade so i love to find something like this if it's about the sell it's a, if it's about the buys i love to find at least there's a huge momentum breaking the previous high and i enter on the correction or on the retracement so something like that i have to see it in the market so if i don't see that i can i do not take a trade okay so at this point this is my lower here which also created the high and we also have this lower we also have this higher so let's see if it surpasses that and there we go you can see the momentum is a little bit down if you see candle formations are like this meaning that the momentum of buyers or sellers in the market is down so you have to wait for when there's momentum and here we go at this point we have this lower we have this high the market is not yet showing momentum of buyers yet you can see we have sellers kicking in the market so there's no buyers yet so let's see what happens we also have uh, this level here this thing yes now we have buyers attempts so at this point we have equal lows at this point we also have buyers attempt so at this point is where i can press my trade how do i press my trade i like to use pending entries like maybe buy limits at this point i can use buy limits or i can use instant execution by staying on the chart waiting for pullback or market to come along my key level so how do i do it i just go deeper into the lower time frame because this is Euro usd it has no high peak value i can base maybe on 30 minutes only on that means i think it will make sense so on that means what do i do this is my this is my previous lower i have to make sure by any means if i press a trade my stop loss has to be below this and at this point i can press my entry maybe at this point there my stop loss i would have pressed my stop loss here I can press my stop loss here but based on how this structure is because we also have this liquidation I can actually see below this one here or below this like this one but I think this is awesome so to make sure that uh, my risky reward ratio is good or not good or if this trading setup is worth it or not worth it I would love to know where my take profit will be. So I'll have to consider the next high. I have this next high here. I have this next high. But to be a little bit sure, I would use my Fibonacci retracement tool. So my Fibonacci retracement tool, I'll consider this point here. And this point here. So my take profit will be here. Because I think it aligns with my previously high. So I would love to, to show you something here. You see, my risk reward ratio is 1 ratio 3.5, which is nice because I do consider my trading setup to be a high probability trading setup or based on the, the high probability trading setup or the good setup. When it has my risk reward ratio at least one ratio two and above that's that's a nice setup i would say so at this point i can press maybe my my buy limits or sorry my sell limits uh, buy limits okay so that i can see this and always i do use my fibonacci tool to for take profit one so i can use this negative 27 as my take profit one and negative 61 as my take profit take profit too you get it now let's see what happens up next let's see what happened yes so at this point you can see market yes now this is 30 minutes let me switch on to 45 minutes i think it will be it will be showing some good laser remember if market sub 
crosses here and closes below this one here will be a little bit invalid i think uh, but if it does not if it closes maybe here and does not close below here it's still a valid trading setup okay that's why i did avoid myself by pressing my stop loss here so let's see what happens next and there we go so i can see markets made a little bit drawdown so i see what happens up next and draw down in a oh 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 <laughs> I think this was something like uh, maybe news reports coming in. I didn't. I don't remember exactly, but this might be of news reports. Mind you, when we have news reports coming in the market, there are some signs. I would say you'll see huge volatility in the market. But as as always, news are always following what we call technical analysis. So on this trading setup, I think there were news reports now this is not a good example let me find a good example on the other trading setup so that we can we can use it but i think it was also nice nice but i think it was news reports coming in that's why something like that happened so let me find the other trading setup okay now i found this out card now on the out card this is one of the setup i think it will be easy for you to understand let me start from the weekly time frame so that you can see what what i see and here we go so this is out card on the other time frame now you can see that we are trading on the upside so this is a bullish market structure whereby we have this lower high lower high okay and the lower high and the lower here and this is like the correction so that we can continue on the upside because this is a overall uptrend market structure so to make it a little bit make sense let me start where the market is right now and i can highlight this area but because it's a time frame now i will base where the market is currently along there all right so i'll have to switch on the daily time frame really quick if you don't understand about market structure, I would suggest or I would ask you to go and watch the previous market structure that I did explain very well on the market structure. All right. So I'd love to consider this level here because we have this liquidation, liquidation. If you don't understand all those concepts, then it will be very hard for you to understand me what I'm trying to find out. So at this point, I'll be looking to trade on the exact market movement because we have seen the other time frame because the market is trading on the upside and now be i want to trade the the overall trend i sometimes i don't like to trade the counter trend but on the counter trend i do use at least to to do what we call the day trading even scalping sometimes so here is one thing i would love to go directly into the lower time frame to find where there is almost the change change of market structure so that i can enter buys so buys might be might happen maybe inside this zone here or inside this zone here so let me go deeper into lower time frame now this is let me go straight into eight hours i can go eight hours depends eight hours four hours so at this point we have uh, this break of structure here with this huge candle on the eight hours almost nearby this levels here at the same time we have the high and strong candle so this strong candle confirms that we still have more sellers in the market remember i i want to take it buys whenever i see market data respecting this level or respecting this level so i will switch into four hours find out like how the market is showing me so what are signs so on four hours we have this area we have this lower here with the breakout structure we also have this high i mean lower so let's see what the market did up next and we have that strong com strong rejection i would say yes this is a huge 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 rejection so at this point mind you on the four hours we have this high we have this lower here so at this point because i want to take bias 
bias and also maybe to the next high there i would love to see market at least changing the structure how do we change i love to i like to use this structure i love to see breaking this right and i enter on the retracement point that's what i like i like to see such pattern and of course if you follow me you will understand what i mean whenever i want to enter maybe the the reversing i like to wait for market to change and then that's when i enter a trade all right so i'll switch into four or two hours or one hour you can use any time frame by the way let me use one hour because it will be easy for you even to understand more so this is our lower this is our height our breakout structure so let's see what happens and this is almost our high now market failed to break this created a new high meaning that there are some signs to break this so whenever this is the breaker we are still continuing to it down so let's see almost expecting so it's kind of like almost like expecting creating equal highs equal lows so let's see if we make a maybe breaking if market manage to break this then will be the change of structure and we closed above yes so the market here managed to close above guys and at this point if market manage manage to close above this will be a nice trading setup on the buys toward this level here the first area so how do we do it now I would love to switch into lower time frames so that it can be easy for me to support early of point my point of interest all right so at this point i think uh, this is not yet high until i see at least the candle moving down is when i can use also the fibonacci retracement so at this point i cannot use the fib because this is not yet the rejection let's see until maybe it's reject yes it's rejected now at this point i can see the market has rejected so what i do point out find out now let me use the Ghana books tool because the Ghana books tool give me gives me at least the view where there will be my point of interest so at this point i can see my point of interest will be here which is the equilibrium but the more precise let me see 15 minutes on the 15 minutes seems like uh, on the 15 minutes we have uh, this breakout structure here whereby i don't see any market imbalance nearby i see market imbalances here we have this market imbalance here and here that's why market rejected so i think this will be more will be nice let me switch into two hours to see any kind of market yes so on the two hours here's where we got the pre construction here yeah. and at the same time this is market imbalance here yeah. so there's this market imbalance now whatever i be looking for i love to look for market rejecting maybe this level so what i do i love to make sure this has to be aligning with the previous lower so on one hour i love to to find out where i can press my entry so my entry will be based on here and by stop loss a little bit below this and my target so my target has to align with my fibonacci retracement let me see yes my fibonacci retracement but i can see with my fibonacci retracement i can see the next target has to be here so i think i would have to use this instead of that okay now i can delete this now well, let's see if there's any kind of formation here which will be found for us to go ahead 
yes now we have this candle formation right there which is let's see on 30 minutes let's see on 30 min at this point i'm looking whether to enter manually or use pending so on 30 minutes i can see we still uh, this is a reversal now i will use manually i will use manual based on this kind of formation but my stop loss will also still be below this and my targets my targets has to be the same so at this point if i enter here you see my risk reward ratio is not is not good so my risk reward ratio is two meaning is one ratio two so this is not a good trading setup and i can opt not to take it so <laughs> let me wait because this trading uh this risk reward ratio is not good so let me wait our market shows me As you can see what's happening and there we go so at this point you can see we have an attempt of bias you see this attempt of bias now for my risk reward ratio to be a little bit good i have to wait for this market movement at least to break here so that i can have a good risk reward ratio so let's see and we got that break nice so this is a nice break of structure so based on how i trade i will have to look for yes right now the market is retracing so let me use my gunner box tool so on my gunner box tool i will use my pending entry right here and my stop loss to be a little bit above below that and my entry right there and my take profit just to be here there we go my stop loss my stop losses so at this point my my risk reward ratio is one ratio 3.1 which is nice that, that's awesome that's nice so let's see how to at this point i can use my pending orders so i have to can use maybe pending orders like the buy limits i use the buy limits and there we go oh uh oh uh oh and there we go oh sh think in a little bit drawdown i think so let's see what happened and there we go and that's good yeah this suggestion is good and there we go nice uh oh and there we go and i'll take profit smash it now this was the nice i would say this was a nice trade because my risk reward ratio was awesome which is one ratio three which is good and also i did not want to take this one here let me show you why i rejected to take this if i would have taken this trade here this was the manual trade my target was obvious but my stop loss was a little bit to be below this one here and you can see my risk reward ratio was almost one ratio two but one ratio two is not good basically and at this point if i would have entered the key to be obvious was one ratio 1.8 which is not a good trade so i think this example is nice if you watch this video until the end i really appreciate give me a follow button give me a comment or a like button and a share and see you to the next video